day eight of Native American Appreciation Month. That's November 8th, 2015, and it's a Sunday. And like last Sunday, we're going to spotlight a Native American charity. And the one we're going to talk about today is the American Indian College Fund. So you may not know what the American Indian College Fund is, but that's okay. I'm going to give you a short history and maybe a little bit, a couple statistics here and there. Okay. In 1968, the Navajo Nation created the very first of its kind educational institution that was a college located on the reservation dedicated to the education of the tribal members. This is the very first tribal college that we ever had in 1968. It took a little while, but we finally got there. In 1989, uh, these tribal college presidents got together and said, you know what, let's create an organization where we can go out and maybe start raising funds in the private sector. And so the American Indian College Fund was created in 1989. So it's been around for 25 years. They just celebrated the 25th anniversary this year, which is fantastic. You know, much support and much kudos to them. Um, today, the American Indian College Fund supports 34 accredited tribal colleges in 13 states. That's amazing, especially when you come to understand that less than 5%, that's right, less than 5% of the Native American students who attend these colleges can actually pay for the tuition on themselves. 95% need financial assistance, and that's where the American Indian College Fund comes in to play and helps out, is by giving the support and the financial assistance to these students so that they can attend college. And it's really important to understand because no state taxes go into the funding of tribal colleges. It, it, so when you pay your taxes to your state, none of that at all ever goes to the funding of the tribal colleges. It's important to understand a couple statistics. The first statistic, uh, less than 13% of American Indians have a bachelor's degree. And that's pretty far down from the national average of around 28 to 29 percent of people in the national average who have a bachelor's degree so the statistics are pretty low for the for the native americans uh the other statistic is less than one percent to around one percent of those attending colleges right now are native americans which means 99 percent of all college students out there are students of some sort of different ethnicity. Even with the tribal colleges, our First Nations people need help. And that's where hopefully you guys may be able to come in and help if you can. Uh, and if you're feeling like you can donate a little bit to it, the American Indian College Fund is a great place to go and donate to it. The biggest thing that the American Indian College Fund does is that it helps train these people to go out and better improve the reservations. With more knowledge, they take it back to the reservations and help with the improvement there. Now, there's a couple questions that people usually have when they start asking about, hey, you know, American Indian College Fund, I have some thoughts, I have some ideas, and I'm pretty sure I've heard these things over and over again, so maybe I shouldn't have to donate to you. That's okay, let's clear some of that stuff up. The answer to that is no, it's not. Um, out of the 553 recognized tribes in the United States, only a hundred and uh, 198 of them actually have some sort of gambling or casinos on the reservation. And those proceeds don't generally go to education as much as they go to infrastructure, like building up the roads, trying to build. Uh, build uh, hospitals and trying to provide support back to the community. Very few of the Native American tribes are actually getting wealthy off of these Indian casinos. And that right there, that's a complete other lie. I mean, Native Americans have to pay for college just like everyone else, with exception of one university, and that's Fort Lewis College in Durango, Colorado. Where actually American Indian students don't have to pay tuition to go there. But that's part of a treaty agreement that happened way, way, way back in 1800s. So apart from that one university, American Indians have to pay tuition. Now they may get a little bit of subsidies here and there, but nothing nearly as big as it does at the American Indian College Fund or what they, they offer.
you know what is it what, what are people studying at these college funds um well let's just let's just break it down uh, among the tribal colleges that are there right now they offer four different master's degree programs 46 bachelor's degree programs and 193 different associate degree programs in subjects like business and engineering and science technology education healthcare, and all more sorts of other things there's around 119 different types of certificate programs like um welding and uh, and, uh, and mechanics and uh, computer science sciences uh, there's five apprenticeship programs and about seven diploma programs uh, like GED coursework and other things like that so there's a lot of different programs that are being offered at these tribal colleges which is really amazing um, in 2010 to 2011 the top five fields of graduation that was being done were in business health related fields like nursing or nutrition or pre-medicine the stem fields so the science technology engineering and mathematics liberal liberal arts and education now you imagine that you take your business your liberal arts your education your stem fields and your medical fields and you bring those back to the tribes how couldn't they help benefit the community and help benefit the reservations these people are making impacts and changes in the way people live in the world right now and you can be a part of that you can be a huge part of that just by you know donating maybe ten dollars here or, or five dollars there and if you you're one of those people who likes to donate but maybe gets want something in return you can always go to pendleton um blankets when you buy one of their blankets they donate the proceeds of that blankets to the american indian college fund so if you want to get something um th that's a beautiful native american uh blanket that you can have and show off in your phone in your home you can go to Pendleton Blankets to actually find something like that. Uh, the American Indian College Fund is a important, important institution that needs help. I'm going to leave you with that. The American Indian College Fund, a charity that I feel really strong about, something that I really care about, and I hope that you guys out there can um, maybe, you know, just find out a little bit more information. You don't have to donate, but maybe just find out a little bit more information, and that's always good. As always, my name is Enoch Chapman. Go out and hug yourself a Native American, and I'll see you tomorrow.